What's up, guys? JLo here from more pack crackers. We got 10 more packs of Crimson Val ready to open. Open, 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 open. So let's do it, shall we? Uh, we're not going to see any of the uncommons or commons. Oof. And I got a, I got two Mythic Wild Cards, Poobamph, a rare Wild Wild Card, a rare Wild Wild Card. I got one from here, I think. And then, yeah. Uh, three more packs of my next rare wild card. Nine more to I get a mythic. So, next episode, maybe not the next episode I post, but the next episode I record, that will happen. And looks like it got two mythics. Let's look at this boring dream root cascade. Oh my god, I almost fell asleep. It's, I mean, it's still good, it's still good, but boring. We have an overcharge amalgam. Ooh, zombie. Oh, look at it's mate. Look at the mace, man. That's so badass. Mike Jordana, you have tickled me today. That's so cool. So stinking cool, man, that artwork. That's cool artwork, too. Sam Gue. Demonic Bargain. Ooh, we have to exile 13 cards, though? I'll just use a Demonic Tutor for one more mana. And I don't exile all my good cards. How's that sound to you? Hamlet Vanguard, a human warrior. He has two shields, no weapons, so he's not doing much damage. We have Catilda Donhart Martyr. Oof. Oh, and it's a flippy dippy doo. The other side, it's Catilda's Rising Dawn. Ooh, so much to do. I'm, I'm kind of skipping through the rares so we can get to the two mythics that I already know I got. Uh, well, technically four mythics. So, you know. First we have Avrabruck, Caretaker, 4-2 green. For human werewolf, 4-4. Four, four. Oh, look at the cute puppy. Has a little flower. He or she has a little flower leash. That's cute. That's going to be bad in a minute, I'm sure. Uh, human werewolf, hexproof, beginning of combat on your turn. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on another target creature you control. But if it turns to night... She becomes the Howlhenge Huntmaster. And I'm assuming that's the little cute puppy that was there a minute ago. 6-6 six, six with Hexproof. Other permits you control have Hexproof at the beginning of combat on your turn. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on each creature you could... Ooh. Ooh. Oof. Big oofs. Then we got our girl Chandra. Not as cool or as pretty as Liliana, but still pretty good. Uh, Chandra, just to kill. One and two red. Uh, starts with three counters. And, of course, it is a Chandra. Uh, her plus one, add a red mana. This deals one damage to up to one target player, Planeswalker. Okay. Uh, plus one, exile top card of your library. If it's red, you may cast it this turn. Minus a three, exile the top five cards of your library. You may cast red spells from among them this turn. You get an emblem with whenever you cast a red spell. This emblem deals X damage to any target, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast that spell. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I want one of those in real life so I can put it in my Chandra deck. I don't have I don't have this Chandra from my Chandra deck. I don't have the Arlen from Midnight Hunt in my Werewolf deck. This is real life talk. Um, I don't have... The Liliana Professor Onyx uh, from, what was that, Strixhaven? I don't have that one. I need that for Lily, my Liliana deck. Uh, and obviously, when uh, Nicole Bolas becomes the Emperor of uh, Neon Kamigawa, ne Neon Gawa, uh, there's going to be a new Planeswalker him. It's not official, but I mean, it's, it is, you know. It isn't, but it is, right? We got two cool mythics, two mythics that will be really cool as soon as I figure out how to spend them with my other 23 mythic rare wild cards. Really wanted another rare wild card, and we're going to get another soon. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That'll do it for today. Um, see you next time, I suppose. Later, guys.